Hey guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got Archie Droid version 2.3 for Galaxy S3. So what about this ROM? Uh, I have already done a VR of this ROM in its version 2.2.2. Back then it was based on uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.2, unofficial by Temasek. So what's changed? now? Well, in the 2.3, it's no longer based on Cyanogen mod, by Temasek or not. It is now based on the Omni-ROM. Okay, so that's something uh, new. It is based on Omni-ROM version uh, nightly for December. So it is one of the latest nightlies available. It's really fast. I can see that from this. And one of the first things you'll notice is that the colors are a bit uh, undertoned. So if you have been using a uh, Samsung stock ROM or well, any other ROM on this uh, device, the Galaxy S3, you might be uh, familiar with the popping colors and things like that. This doesn't have it. So um, that dictates for me, uh, at least, it is a good thing because the colors really seem to be oversaturated. The colors in this one are uh, just perfect for any kind of video watching and such. So uh, let's go to about phone. So as you can see in about phone it is Android 4.4 just as any uh, other latest ROMs are. It is Omni ROM version uh, December 12th. So that is kind of latest. The uh, Icons, everything would be smaller in this because I have selected the DPI setting of 240, which is the default uh, in the aroma. So you have to uh, change it if you want, want the original 320 or the modified 250. So this is pretty cool. So what else about this ROM? The main thing is the aroma package. It has a lot of stuff from the get go. You have a lot of customization options from the aroma installer so you have all of that in in there so you don't have to flash anything uh, extra it also has the g apps package so no worries there okay uh from the app side of you you have all these apps you have certain other apps also i haven't installed everything uh you do have spirit fm for using your um fm radio i haven't connected the uh, headphone so you might not be able to get a um, get a feel of that but it does work it is spirit fm you do have battery, better battery stats which is all this an awesome tool to uh, see what all um, apps are actually draining your battery it's really awesome on the kernel side you have a lot of options for kernel also you have wavefla kernel you have yanks kernel i guess you have uh, this one also um, the other kernels also. I have personally selected Boyfla kernel. I always select Boyfla kernel, so that's there. Uh, it does have a USB camera. I don't see if it. I don't think it has SD support yet. Uh, no, it doesn't have SD support yet. But the camera works. That's uh, good enough. Cool tool is what you're seeing here, which is this little thing. So it displays all the these facts. So you can see CPU the usage cpu usage cpu megahertz uh, memory temperature the network information and yeah that is the input output so that uh, is displayed here if you are some kind of developer or something it, it is always running you can have each uh, things available for you so that's pretty cool so you have all these tools from the get go from the aroma package what else does this offer it does have hackers keyboard which is one of my favorite keyboards because it gives me the option for a separate number pad that's something awesome what else do we do we have uh it does have exposed exposed installer it does have exposed 2.4 which is compatible with the uh 4.4 android uh what else is about this rom this is a fast rom i have to say this is based on omni rom this is fast as you can see the launcher is actually the nova launcher you have a bit bunch of launchers to select from you have stock launcher you have nova launcher and you can select no launcher at all if you plan on flashing another launcher so be careful it does say that it needs a few things okay 
Now about the aroma package you can see my uh, installation guide for the previous version because the installation guide hasn't changed. The installation aroma package hasn't changed much. It, it still has most of the apps and functions available still. So you can use that one uh, to see what all options you have. So I'll l include a link in the description. It, it is based for 2.2.2 for, uh, but still this one is also uh, this one is similar to that one so yeah I guess that is it about the ROM now about the Omni ROM functions you do have a few functions from the Omni ROM the Omni ROM uh, late uh, the latest Omni ROMs have been updated to incorporate active display which is pretty awesome it is something of a lifesaver for me I always use this uh, it gives me all the things whenever I take it out, uh, take the phone out of my pocket. I give, I get all the information on the screen. So that's pretty awesome. It also has these options. Uh, consider uh, comparing it with Cyanogen Mod 11. It might seem a bit uh, shallow, but these are all the options which you need. Omni ROM is more of an AOSP ROM than the Cyanogen Mod series. So there, uh, all these options are available. You also have the clear all button. Which, which you can change the location it currently is here in the bottom right corner you can just swipe it off so I guess that is it it also has the in call non-intrusive in call menu so which is uh, I guess with it most people will use it non-intrusive you can enable or disable that something which I have used and I have found to be really awesome it's something of uh, something uh, which th these are little tweaks which makes the user experience with all these ROMs uh, more fun so I guess I will show you guys the boot animation and uh, we'll see so here is the boot animation for Archidroid uh, at first at first install it did have a boot sound I'm not sure if it, I didn't see the uh, boot sound again <laughs> I don't know so I don't think in this ROM you have the option to change the boot animation. I might be wrong, wrong about it, but as far as I've known, the Aroma package does not support a different boot animation. So there. So I guess that is it about the ROM. Um, this is based on Omni ROM. So this is probably uh, one of the smoothest ROMs now in 4.4 iteration. So this is pretty awesome. The battery life is kind of cool I didn't uh, I feel the battery life is better than Cyanogen Mod 11 because uh, I have been using this for quite some time and the battery well it's not really a problem because in uh, 30 minutes I've gone from uh, maybe 5 5% 4% yeah I guess 3% uh, in 33 minutes I've gone down 3% with always on screen most of the time so that's pretty uh, good I would say of a AOSP based ROM so um, I guess that much is it about the ROM so see you guys next time please do subscribe like and share the video if you found this useful so see you guys next time bye